Hey everybody, it's me, Pam, Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back. I just thought maybe, I, I'm going to kind of call this a relaxation video because I'm working on my, uh, my journal. My little journal, this one right here. I'm getting the, getting the signatures together and, uh, I don't know, just thought you might want to sit back, relax, and listen to paper shuffle <laughs> I've got these two completed I'm working on these others I'll be moving in and out of camera that uh, paper that you teach kids to do their lettering. And this is something else I came up with. Those um, cheap coloring books you can get for a dollar at um, Dollar Tree. I cut those down to size and use those as a signature. Just kind of folded them over like that. Folded those down just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Look again. I must have cut them down. I did cut them down. Cut them down some. When I go to trim the pages, I can't can't trim off the fold. Did this. 
soon enough, I'm afraid. Probably not. <laughs> My little thing overhead just keeps getting further and further away for some reason. Three and a quarter. This one doesn't have to be exact. Just enough to, yeah, I get it past that, that fold. So when I have to trim the other pages, when I build the signatures, I can, uh, I won't be trimming, I won't be cutting this right here. I thought this was an interesting idea. I don't think I'd ever seen anybody use the coloring you know, the adult coloring book pages as a page in a journal. I could be wrong. I just maybe not doing the right, uh, watching the right channels. Like I said, my, can't, my uh, phone keeps moving farther away. I don't know what's going on there. I Hang on a second. Maybe that'll be help. That helps a little bit. it That was cool. I took these pages out of a book on uh, bed and breakfast descriptions. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay. And a piece of plain paper. And a piece of lined paper. And then this one. of lined paper, two pieces of lined paper, one, two, and then the coloring the page, coloring the page, plain paper, and lined paper. Oh, I missed something somewhere. Plain paper and lined paper. I did this and all of them I missed I kept missing a page. Line paper. Line paper. Okay. Alright, so we have Okay, I'm gonna have two. Yeah. And then this one. Yeah. And then the plane. Why 
why this is so difficult for me. Another one. There's only one. I have two. That's rough. Okay, and then this one. And then that one. And that one. I've got too many papers. Well, let's see how this shakes out when I go to actually put them together. Okay. Okay, I'll put that one over there and use this one because it seems like that's the one I... I'm going to pick this one up and see if it's different. <laughs> Checking to see if these are both the same. And then that one. And that one. Mm -hmm. Two of those, yeah. And then the coloring page. And then that. And then that. Yeah. Okay. Those are the same. Alright. Put another one together. This seems like it's a beachy theme. I think that was the name of that one, actually. The paper pad was actually called Poolside. Yeah, Poolside. Okay, so this one. Two of these. Might have it memorized by the time I get done. Two of those. And then... I didn't put any dictionary in this. It's it was poolside. It was, it's more beachy. I didn't think you needed to be learning anything. Uh, that and then a piece of that paper. Okay. That piece of that paper and then writing paper and another lined paper two lined papers the coloring page and then I think it's blank and lined yeah. Like and a lined. Well, that one turned out fine. It turned out the way it was supposed to. gonna be two of these. Now these I got out of this. Took that junior composition book part. So we're gonna do two of these. Let's show that in one plane, right? Yeah, I think that was it. Two. Nope. That was wrong. Take that. And this one. Then a plane. And then another pad. Another paper pad. And then this one. Another notebook. Is that two? A uh, two notebook. Okay. Two notebook papers. A coloring page. Plain and then notebook. Plain and then notebook in the middle. I was thought, well, maybe I'll rearrange these, but after I got to so confused on it the first time, I said, I better just stick with what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, that's all. That's 
is, believe it or not, it's going to be a five signature journal. As little as it is, but but the signatures just aren't very big. So that's that's what it's going to look like. How many signatures are going to be in it? I need to do some trimming off on the side. That's why I have my uh, coloring pages a little bit smaller. So, and it's definitely going to need um, some material or lace over the spine. And I thought, since it had that beachy vibe going on, that the cover I would incorporate some of these these stickers that I had gotten at. Dollar Tree. So I think the beachy vibe with the, the beachy stickers. Alright, well I will come back um, later and show you this one. I have it finished. Either today or tomorrow afternoon. Alright, thank you for watching and thanks for just, I don't know, relaxing with me.